Sandy has dropped up to 12 inches of rain in some areas, and the storm surge is what's flooded so many communities. 10 News meteorologist Craig Herrera has a street-level look at the areas affected by storm surge. The images are stunning. Flooded communities from the Mid-Atlantic to New England, all because of Sandy. This Google map shows the estimated areas impacted by the storm surge. The purple indicates the highest water, about three feet. You can see Brooklyn to the right and Staten Island just west across the lower bay. Just look how far the water traveled. And take a look at this area from the Lower East Side south to the Battery. That's where this picture of the flooded Con Ed substation was taken. The peak storm surge for Lower Manhattan was almost 14 feet at 9.24 p.m. And these pictures show emergency vehicles under several feet of water. Here, firefighters were waist deep. This graphic shows the storm surge at Kings Point, New York reached 12 feet at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Local climatologist Sam Icobella says there are three reasons for the high storm surge in these storms. The wind pushing the water, wind will blow over the water, of course, and it'll push the water. There's also the wave action that'll bring the water onto shore, and then also the low pressure within the center of a hurricane. And that's one reason this storm was so strong. Look at this time lapse from NASA. It shows Sandy as the center made landfall near Atlantic City, New Jersey. Heiko Bella says a lot more of these superstorms may be the result of climate change. With the increased fossil fuel burning, we have more CO2 in the atmosphere and other gases, but CO2 is the main one that increases the greenhouse effect and that warms up the atmosphere and the oceans. And as a result, we may see more superstorms in the future. In La Jolla, Craig Herrera, 10 News.